Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so that every time we come out with new Winkle videos, you can be the first to know. Also, check out down below, we have freebies and a website for thewinkle.com where you can get STEM products delivered to your door every month. I'm Grant. We're with the Winkle, and today we're making a coding keychain. Grant, do you know what coding is? Yes. Of course you do. So what is coding? Coding is a language that computers understand. That's right, and we are going to learn the binary code alphabet. All of you guys out there have been learning your alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the way that's written in a computer is different than the way you're used to writing it in with paper and pencil. Isn't it used with numbers? Yep, numbers, zeros and ones. So should we see what's in our kit today? Yes. All right. So first we have the binary code alphabet. We have some plastic string, parts for a keychain, and some beads. Great, on top of everything in your kit today, all you'll need is either a pen or a pencil or a marker. I'm using a marker. I'm using a pencil. And some scissors, and then we're ready. Let's go. Okay, so here's the binary code alphabet. We have A all the way down to Z. So these are the numbers, the letters, I'm sorry, that you're used to spelling when you learn your alphabet. But in the computer, this is what they look like right here, the ones and the zeros. So if you type that into the computer, if you're coding something, it's going to say that one zero 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 one zero means B. So that's a really long way to spell your name, right? Especially yes. if your name was like Jacqueline, that would be like so many ones and zeros. But today Is that we're even a name. Yeah, that's a name. So today we're just going to be using your initials. So like my name is Allison Peterson. So I'm going to be putting A P on my keychain. And if you guys want to do your initials, or if the keychain is going to be a gift for your sister or a friend, you could do your friend's initials as well. What are you going to do, Grant? Um, I'm going to do my initials. Your initials. So G P, right? Yes. So what I want you to do right here is go down the alphabet and circle or underline the two initials that you're gonna have. So mine is A and P, okay? That way you don't really need to worry about the rest of the alphabet. You can just focus on the ones that you're going to be using. Okay, so normal, normal binary code actually has eight numbers, but the first one is a zero. So we just deleted that for the purpose of our keychain today to make it a little simpler because there's so many ones and zeros. So we're just going to be using seven of the numbers in each for each letter. Okay, so to start with, we're going to get our keychain piece right here and our plastic string. And you're going to fold the plastic string in half, match up the ends. That way you know you're at the halfway point. And this loop is going to go through your keychain like this. Okay, good. And then take your little tails, these two little pieces right here, and tuck them through the hoop right there, the loop, and give them a nice pull. And tie them nice and tight, and then, good. So you're gonna start with the yellow, and again, the yellow is not part of the binary code. That's just showing that we're gonna start a new letter, okay? So it's kind of like a space. And my first letter is A, so I'm going to do one zero 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 one. Now you might think, my beads don't have ones and zeros on them, and that's okay. We are actually going to have the white beads represent one, and the black beads will represent the zeros. So if you separate your beads into white and black, then you just know that the white means one and the black means zero. So for A, I'm going to do white. And then how many black? One, two, three, four, five black. One, two, done. Oh, you're done already. Well, just with one. How do I tie it? Okay, that's a good question. You are faster than me. Okay, so I have all of my numbers on there. Double check, before we tie the knot, you just wanna double check 
hold it up to your code so you can make sure you have it exactly how it's supposed to be. The white represents the ones and the black represents the zeros. And remember, you want a yellow at both ends so that you know that's when the letter starts and stops. I'm gonna show you how to tie a knot right here. So you're gonna make a little loop, pinch the loop with your pincher fingers. Now you're gonna tuck the tail of the loop into the circle. Now you're gonna pinch the tail with your other hand, pincher fingers, and pull that loop towards your beads. Now that should be good enough to hold your beads, but if you wanna make a double knot, you can. You're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna make the circle, push the tail into the, into the circle, pinch the tail, now pull the loop towards your keychain. Now you have a nice double knot, so that is not going anywhere. Give it a nice little trim, and you've done your first letter of your binary code keychain. Yay, okay, so we have our first letter of our binary code keychain, and now we get to do the second letter. Don't forget to put the yellow on first. That's gonna show that you're starting a new letter, and then follow right along with whatever letter you're doing. All right, and before I put on my last yellow bead, I wanna line it up and make sure that I did it right. One, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, good. And then when you finish your letter, put on the yellow bead, and then I'm gonna show you how to do that knot again. I'm gonna make a circle, pinch that circle with your pincher fingers, right there where it crosses. Tuck the tail into the circle. Now you're gonna pull the tail, and pull that circle towards your beads. And then if you want, like I said, you're gonna make that knot again. Make a circle, put the tail through the circle, pinch the tail, and bring that circle towards the keychain, nice and tight, and give it a trim. That's so cool, let's see yours, Grant. GP, I can tell, because I'm an expert in binary code. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, let's see if our P's are the same. Oh yeah, both P's are the same. Okay, I gave you one last finishing detail for your keychain, and that is this jump ring and this little tassel. I like taking my fingernail, but maybe if you don't have a fingernail, you can slide something else in there, like a card or a pencil or something. Open it up and slide it through. That's really simple to do. And then you're going to open it up again and pop it onto that keychain right there i like that it just adds a little bit more flair and decoration to our keychain let's see yep oh that looks awesome oh you got a black tassel you're lucky that looks super cool i stole yours oh you did i see okay that looks so good okay i think i'm gonna put my keychain on the keys to my office that we're in right now that would be pretty cool right yeah i'm gonna put mine on our electric scooter Oh, the keys that go to our electric scooter? Yes. Oh, so you think the scooter will belong to you because it has GP on it, yes. on the binary code? And no hmm. one will know. We'll see if that works. A little secret code that makes you feel like the scooter belongs to you, huh? Okay, we can't wait to see what you guys made today, how it turned out, and where you put your keychain. If you have a grown up, take a picture or video of you making your keychain, have them posted on social media, Instagram or Facebook, and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>